I'm Melanie from Independent Hill, and today we are going to make the weave, actually, a basket like this. And all you will need is a regular, inexpensive paper plate, any kind of yarn that your parents may have from around the house, and some glue and a glue stick. Actually, both have their uh, places, so we'll look into that as we go on. Now, when I first began, the instructions I had said to only use one paper plate, and I felt it gave us a little sturdier bowl if I used two. So what I did was I just took a glue stick, and I didn't worry that much because if you just give it a little like this, and like that, okay, and you just do it like this, and you leave it aside for about five, 10 minutes, you'll be set. Now, once you've got your two paper plates together, glued together, there will be a pattern on the kids page and a link so that you can print one out like this. Now, the problem with this pattern is that it is for a nine inch plate and copy machine paper is eight and a half inches. There is no problem if you have it like this, as I will show you, because this is how mine came out and it's perfectly fine to use. So you take this, you put it on top of your paper plate. It doesn't have to match. It, Exactly. Now, I found the easiest thing was just to take some paper clips and paper clip about every other section, okay? And even for the sections that are kind of missing, it's very easy then to take a pair of scissors and just cut on the line your wedges. Now, should you want to do this, to a different size plate, say you want a bigger bowl or a smaller bowl, um, you can just by cutting wedges, but please remember that you always need an odd number of wedges to make this pattern work. So once you have cut all of your wedges out, you will get something that looks like this. So you remove the paper clips. you can put your pattern aside to use for another day. Let's move this aside. And now, oh, I'm sorry, I made a mistake. Let's put that back. I got a little too excited about moving on to the next pattern. Part. So what we have to do is we now have to form this circle. So what we'll do is put your finger like this and then push and finger like this and push and finger like this and push. And if you keep doing this as you go around, the paper plate really wants to work with you. So you just keep doing this all the way around, okay? and eventually it'll start to bend up. It is at that point that you remove the pattern and now you have something that looks like this. Do not be concerned if it's not totally standing upright. You can go like this and eventually as we weave, the yarn will help pull it in. So to begin, and you can use any kind of yarn. I just happen to have this yarn left over from a scarf I made my daughter years ago. I like to throw the yarn on the floor so that I have plenty of excess yarn to work with. Now, as you begin, put the yarn to what will be the back side of your bowl and hold it tight, okay? And then we are going to go over this wedge and behind this wedge and over this wedge and behind this wedge and we're going to go in and out as 
as we go through the wedges, okay? Now, what works best is if you can hold the, as you're doing this, hold the yarn taut. You don't want it to be loose and you don't want it to be gaps. Now, as you come to your beginning spot, just leave this little tail hanging. And what we'll do is we'll go back and forth through the wedges. You see that it doesn't really matter that I'm holding these up straight. That will happen as we go along, okay? So it's just in and out, in and out, in and out, okay? And we continue to do this until we come to something that looks like this, okay? And as we continue to weave, the actual event, the actual effect of the weaving will begin to pull these wedges in, okay? Now, I just used one color for this. If you wanted to use multiple colors, say to put a stripe or some kind of design to your bowl, you easily could. You would just start, like we did this one, putting something in the back and then weaving it around. So you could easily make this uh, multicolored or whatever design you wanted to have on it. You could also put a design here to begin with, uh, say some of your artwork, but you're just going to weave in and out, okay? So when you get to this point, I was concerned as to how I would get it so that I wouldn't have any of this showing. At this point, you can either still use your glue stick, but I would find a, a, a more narrow one, or good old Elmer's glue. And what I did was, I took the glue and just put a couple of dots. And by putting the couple of dots, it then caught the, y, or the yarn, and then you could continue and you didn't have to do it on the inside, just on the outside. And you continue to do that. And this does take a little more time. And you only want to do a couple of dots because if you put a lot of glue, then your fingers get full of glue. And I found that out the hard way. So <laughs> just a dot every now and then as we go around. Okay, and when it, at the end, what I did was I even put some here on the actual edge and I kind of built it up so that it's completely covered, okay? Now at this point, imagine this is covered with yarn. You can have put some kind of design here or I'll show you how we do this part. This part, I did just put the whole bottom a bunch of glue, okay? And took my trusty finger and I smeared it all like this. And then I took some yarn and I started on the outside, okay? And just began to push it into the glue round and round into a circle until it was all filled up. Now on the back you could do the same thing but maybe you're going to use this bowl as a gift for someone and in that way you could put a nice little drawing or say who it's to and who it's from. But there you have it. A little bowl that you've made using leftover yarn from a project two paper plates, a glue stick, and some glue. Oh, if you want to find the pattern for this project, it will be on our kids page and there will be a link attached to this video. Thanks so much.